Okay, I guess we're stealing a meaningless trophy for something meaningless. Hi. This is a private party. No solicitors. No vagabonds. No freelancers. If you're here to offer your services as an entertainer, we're not interested. I was actually uh, here about the Keenet review. Unfortunately, you're too late. The review ended a few days ago. We've submitted our results to the Judiciary Committee and await arbitration. In eight to ten short weeks, we'll have the name of a winner. Probably. <laughs> that gives us eight to ten weeks to file a maintenance request. Our technician barred the vault door and then disappeared without a trace. Can you believe that? What is your technician doing in the vault? The Musgrave Vault contracted a security consultant from UDL. They sent a technician to install a few security upgrades. Ah. And dissident auto mechanicals and the like. That technician barred the vault, but neglected to leave us with a way in from here. He wasn't seen leaving the security room, so I can't imagine where he's gone off to. Probably died. Isn't there another way into the trophy room? Like the maintenance tunnels? The tunnels are guarded by auto-mechanical security. I don't look nearly boorish enough to resemble a UDL guard, so they'd probably shoot me on sight. I think they have UDL security. In any case, I'd rather not step foot in the tunnels. The tunnels are for disposing of unwanted refuse, and no place for a respectable Byzantine. I could find a way into the vault for you. You don't have to dirty your hands. Your eagerness to serve your betters is commendable. Here's a key card. It should help you get around inside the tunnels. Now, was there anything else? I'd like to get back to mastering over the ceremonies, or people might question why I have this role at all. Ba ba. All right. I didn't really need the key card, but I have it anyway. Long enough to clean up the sneak around and chase them around. It's the principle of the matter. Everything belongs in its appropriate place, and laborers do not belong in Byzantium. I just think you're being rather narrow-minded. A common lady might enjoy the chance to see Weird. I mean, I think- I do still think that they're cute, but they are like... People bred these, like, voracious predators into tiny things. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised by that. We've- humans have already done that before, so it's not- not a surprise, not really in any way. So that's where I'm going. Where's this other door go to? Nowhere, it's barred. That's where it wants us. Okay. Oh, the trophy is in there somewhere? The trophy is in here, I see. And there's enemies over there. I understand. Okay. So that's what we're doing. How are you, how you guys doing? Good talk. Well, I'm gonna get this stuff first. Completed. Scheduled annual sanitation repair in Musgrave Family Vault. Applied kinda pine scented floor rags. Kinda pine. Kinda pine. Mostly Clarence. Probably Carl. A phrase area in accordance with Byzantine aesthetic standards. Uh, relocated garbage. Relocated. Didn't throw out the garbage, just relocated it. Installed anti dissident auto mechanicals in order to ensure moral and civil hygiene. No, tampering with, altering, or otherwise disabling moral hygiene auto mechanical strictly prohibited under the board regulations. Delivered uh, a complimentary mitt. I bet that ended very well for him. Go. I 
Several holes in the wall here. I wonder why. I can go in there. Ooh. There's nothing in there? Well, that's a bum. What's in here? things. What's this? Oh, it's for an elevator. Okay. Well, before I go in there... Ooh. Can you make it look so easy? I mean, I just kind of... Ooh. only as good as its owner. They're the ones who ought to be in here. Oh. Is this what they do to canids? So sometimes domesticates and extensive grooming. Oof. I don't like that. I don't like that we just found that. I don't blame the canids for what their owners do. It's not not right. And besides, like, what are they just breeding them for? For running? How stupid. Oh. I actually need a higher uh, skill most dangerous game. Oh, of course. Long guns, 368 damage. What's my damage at? Hey, mine is much better. What's so good about it? Nothing really, it's just cool. Okay. Well, mine is better. All that pomp and circumstance out there. For this, how's the point? I don't know. Come now, Anubis. Ugh, Anubis. I've always hated these things. Basically sprats with an attitude. Alright, let's complete our quest. Well, hopefully. Uh, I just save. Let's talk to you. I've got a lot on my mind right now. Our trophy's gone missing, but oh, I yeah. can't find I wonder who took it. Because what we're doing here is technically illegal. Found dead canids down the tunnels. Explain. Oh, don't look so cross. Those canids were. Put oh yes, down it looked very purposefully with all the blood. Not every canid is suited to the intense competition of our review. Some few canids display flaws that cannot be redeemed. A limp, wall eye, poor coloration. So you kill them? Mercifully. That did not look merciful. Anyway, listen. Nature is red in tooth and claw, and so are we. Competition is practically a law of the universe. I shouldn't have to explain this to you. Could you give me a minute? I got the strangest urge to load my gun. Go and attend to your business then. Arguing with you is a waste of time. You know, the careers of nine out of 13 actors <sighs> end after their debut serial. Enjoy the fame while it lasts. Yeah. Uh, found dead canids in the service tunnels. You know anything about that? Dead canids in the service tunnels? Domesticated canids? Why, that's utterly revolting. You're telling me you had nothing to do with this? My dear friend. I would not dream of hurting a canid. Train. Every canid, regardless of their physical attributes, is a companion to their master. To kill a companion is a profound and unforgivable breach of trust. I'm glad I chose not to participate in this loathsome canid review. 
I will, however, take their trophy. Well, here, fine. Take the trophy. My trophy! Look at this thing! Have you ever seen a more garish monument to the boredom of the elite? If only Grandfather Mosley were alive today, I would have loved to wave this trophy right in front of his cataracts. I hope you won't take it personally when I say I had my doubts about you. Nothing ever gets done in Byzantium, you see. Competent work is, well, a statistical anomaly. I kept my end of the bargain. You keep yours. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the Chem Lab and Human Inquiry. Uh huh. Access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers. Okay. Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed, but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. Calculated? We keep all sorts of data on a permanent record. Spending habits, dietary restrictions, movement. Finding a person is no more complicated than solving an equation. After the project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. Okay. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. Hmm. You haven't been able to let go of Project Gorgon either. Nonsense. I just needed a good old-fashioned statistical problem to busy my mind. Keeps the faculties lubricated. You talk about leaving the past behind, but you still feel responsible. Let me stop you there. I don't accept anything for free. And if you're going to analyze me, I'd have to go through the trouble of hiring you on contract. Think what you will of my intentions. My calculations are sound. You'll find Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe at the enclosed locations. We've got some questions about these two. I'll tell you what I can. What do you what do I need to know about Marion Blakesley? Dr. Marion Blakesley supervised the human inquiry and auditing facility. Live subjects, measuring tape and syringes, that sort of thing. Someone sabotaged the facility. Blakesley tended her resignation and vanished. I'm reasonably certain she's hiding in a maintenance bay on Groundbreaker. Hmm. Are you sure it was sabotage? Well, with Spacer's Listen, choice oh equipment, God, who even sabotage. knows? Dr. Blakesley tendered her resignation <laughs> lawfully, but under suspicious circumstances. If you want to know more, you'd best ask her yourself. What about Jasper Lowe? Dr. Lowe described himself as a dazzling genius in his review. I disagreed. Of the 19 criteria that constitute the rubric of genius, Dr. Lowe only met 15. Mm -hmm. After the project shut down, corporate traded him off to anti-Clio <laughs> in exchange for five lab coats. He's been transferred to an orbital lab around Olympus. Well, must have been some fancy lab coats. No, Captain. Lab coats. As in scientists. Oh. <laughs> Is your captain always this dense? How are you all still alive? I live for risk. Let's get back on topic. You'll find Dr. Lowe in an orbital lab around Olympus. Uh, Certainly. What's on your mind? Welcome to my, tell me about Project Gorgon now. Let's try to keep it down, shall we? At least pretend we're being discreet. There's <laughs> not a lot about Project Gorgon I can tell you. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but I closed that chapter in my life. You didn't. I've moved on. That's a lie. I promise I'm not looking for any trouble. I just want information. Look, don't tell anyone I said this. But if there's anything I've learned by living in Byzantium, it's this. If you go looking for the truth, you are looking for trouble. <sighs> All right. Ask your questions. And then if you don't mind, don't mention Project Gorgon anywhere near me again. What exactly went wrong? Everything. Uh, okay. Every Narrows it down a quite a bit. Failure. We expect setbacks, complications, delays. Project Gorgon experienced a cascade failure. One mistake precipitated another and another. 
and another. The labs failed to develop a safe drug. Human inquiry failed to perform their tests responsibly. An unsafe drug tested on unhealthy subjects by irresponsible supervisors. That's Project Gorgon. Oh, he's wearing a tracker. The staff are all dead or missing. You're the only one wearing a tracker. No one appreciates the value of good data. The holistic surveillance device I wear is an invaluable tool, gathering data on also, all my day-to-day activities. Also, he's choosing to wear activities. it on purpose. My former colleagues can go into hiding and live in ignorance for all I care. I prefer the self-examined life. So your hands aren't clean, Clarence. You're part of Project Gorgon. I know. Project Gorgon was a failure of leadership. Leadership to which I belonged. Hmm. I should have pushed for stricter supervision. We gave the other departments too much freedom and not enough oversight. Spare the rod, spoil the servant. So the project fell apart and your test subjects became marauders. Anarchy is not a crime. It is a symptom. The undisciplined workplace secretes anarchy the way our glands secrete enzymes. It's a principle of science. Sabotage came first. The chem lab, human inquiry, even my own office. Sabotage broke the discipline of our workplace, leading to confusion, leading to escaped subjects, leading to anarchy. Uh, you already said that part. Uh, can I... Never cared much for hors d'oeuvres. The word is just grotesque. All Wait. those superfluous letters <laughs> ruin my appetite. Uh, take your eye back. Well, that's rather responsible of you. I'll put a good word in your permanent record. Yes. Oh. It gives me board reputation. Okay. Guess I don't need that anymore. Uh... Question about Blakesley and Lowe. I'll tell you what I can. Tell me about Lowe. Dr. Lowe described oh, I've already read, that seen after this part. the project shut down, you don't think much our about office him. gave Dr. Lowe and his team every opportunity to develop a drug under perfectly reasonable guidelines and generous deadlines. Dr. Lowe failed to meet our requests and largely succeeded in using our supply of drugs to get himself higher than the mortality rate of a line worker at a Saltuna cannery. All Come right. I guess that's that. Oh wait, there was What's something on else. Your mind? Never mind. Okay. I kind of want to kill her. But it would be difficult to do. Because she's here. I'm just gonna do it once. Them up. Let's just see if I can get out of there without anyone losing their minds. I quick saved just before I did that. So should be okay. And if I lead and come back, maybe things will be different. Maybe they won't think I'm an enemy anymore. We'll have to see. She's still there. is considered an enemy, but I think it's okay. Did I lose reputation for that? I don't think I did. I didn't see anything happening with the reputation on that. The board. Everything seems okay. That's fine. Okay. 
I'll leave that be. I'll leave that be. That's fine. I I won't I won't interject with that any more than it already is. So let's see then. Oh, I see. Now we have these two. I see. Interesting. So we have to go and make our way over to those two people now. Ada just told me that someone left a threatening message oh, on my terminal. Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, no, not here. Goodbye. On my terminal. Maybe, okay, maybe this is upstairs. This one. Uh, messages from me. What a handsome vessel you have, little weasel. The unreliable registered to one Alex Hawthorne, but that's not you, is it? You stole from just as you intend to steal Gorgon from me. Perhaps I should steal something dear from you in exchange your ship, your crew, your life. Fair is fair, after all. Oh. Hmm. I need a higher hack skill to get any closer to it. Charybdis cluster. Hmm. Uh. Oh, we had. Hmm. Maybe I, I, I didn't read the right information off of that. Clearly, I need something else. Uh, oh, I have other messages. Oh, it's not letting me hack that anymore. Uh, who's this guy? Uh, just to let you know what I've gotten the rest of you know what to the you know who sorry for the secrecy you never really know who's reading these things I appreciate you giving me the giving me the time of day uh, oh okay so that's way from way back when oh this is from from Junli to uh, oh oh okay I didn't realize that I got these. Oh well. Um, well, now I can't look at what it said. Well, that sucks. Oh well, I'm just gonna go on and do what I was doing. Threatening messages, no matter what. Oh, I have. I go to a different location. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who do I bring with me? Who do I want to bring with me? I, I like this party that I have here with, with Ellie and Nioka because they, they got a real, like, good buddy system going on here. They get along really nice. And I just, I like watching them interact. That's why I always pick them. Okay. Nope. Danger. Oh, that was theft. Luckily, no one's around to care. So, there is that. I'll keep it down. The music here is real creepy, too. Some of these things are theft, some of these are not. It's very strange. I'm not sure which is which. 
Stay out! Danger! Exclamation point! Danger! Danger! Careful! Those trigger fingers look a mighty itchy. Hey you! Over here! It's a chat! Alright, you have a markings on whoa, yourself. Whoa, 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 it's Riz. Ah, oh, fucking damn it. Every time. What? So, uh, hey, you trespass, and I'm armed. Maybe take a second look at your life choices, pal. Hang on, what are you starting to say back there? Nothing. Never mind. Does Rizzo's know you're butchering their slogan? What, you gonna report me? I don't work for them no more. I'm with the gardeners now. I'm with the gardeners. All of us kept the peace with the corpse once, but we got tired of being used. The gar gar. Funny, I wouldn't have pegged you for a horticulturalist. Hey, I like to get my hands dirty. It's just a name. Old lady we work for, she likes plants. We're here to keep the streets clean. <sighs> Hallways. You know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, Blakesley's given us standing orders to strongly discourage anyone who tries to come in. I like to, uh, extrapolate from there. Does Junlei know you're here? We ain't subversives. We're gainfully employed. This is a private contract. Miss Junlei can't get too mad if we rough up some trespassers. Especially if I was nice enough to warn him first. Come on, we can come to terms. This deal with Blakesley's pretty sweet. We get paid, and we get fresh greens every week. My gums never look healthier. She still she won't be happy if it cost her thousands in life insurance payouts. <laughs> what? I hoped all this newfound wealth could help her ease her grief over the loss of a loved one. I don't know, maybe that, but also... She forgot to dot this I. Very embarrassing. I'm sure she'll want to fix that. Shit. Insurance, you said? Fine, I guess. <laughs> I see what you did there, and I'm impressed. Look, we won't give you trouble, but I can't say the same about Blakesley. She's got some crazy setup in there, so if you get shot, don't come complaining to me. This one's clear, guys. Smooth, Captain. Smooth. Smooth. Some days, it's like I don't know what to do with myself. Come on, this is great. We don't have to beat up miscreants for them anymore. We can beat up miscreants for ourselves. <laughs> Lovely. I'm, I'm so happy for you. This must be a step up from horse factories, huh? Doesn't look like either of us are so pretty in the fancy and big shot. Come on, you two. We're all gardeners here. It's weird which things count as, like, um, things that I can take and things that I cannot take. Some of it's like, oh, you can take this, and that's fine. Matt Sprat, Matt Sprat. Hi, Matt Sprat. Oops. Okay, nobody saw that. Well done. I'm glad no one has noticed me stealing things as of yet. Because I have been stealing things. Just accidentally been like, oops, I stole a thing. Normally I'm careful about stealing things. Well, that was funny. See, that 
wasn't theft, but that is, that is, and that is. Weird. Okay. What's this? Here's your weekly shipment. Please note the additional allotment of protein cakes. Could I convince you and your colleagues to fill out a brief questionnaire regarding your eating patterns? Any time, do try to cut down on all the sugary drinks. Okay. Oh. Am I going to be under attack in here? I get the feeling I might be. At least I can steal things in here. What's in here? Uh, and I thought those tiny canids were ugly. Well, all right. Group C here to refer to as Clarice continues to demonstrate increased growth and development relative to both the original and control strains. However, general mass and caloric content has not increased significantly compared to its predecessor, Horus. This suggests a limit in our ability to mitigate poor nutrient uptake with mantipillar mulch. Personal, Martin's getting a little big for the terrarium. A few more days and we'll go into the processor. Oh, so then... People eat, eat, eat it, I guess. Okay. Uh, maintenance logs. Entry 1. Memory allocations exceeded to archive data expense. Retrieving recent entries. Okay. Water supply remains steady, but the fire power fluctuations are doing a number on the auto mechanicals. Easy fix all the time in the world. Go to the auto mechanicals for non essential components. Minor gains in power efficiency due to decreased weight. Waterproofing materials compromised. Human error. Okay, none of that made sense to me. 